In this video, I will show you how to host multiple websites on one Namecheap hosting package. As you can see here, we have many hosting packages on Namecheap. This is Stella, Stella Plus, and Stella Business. All of them have uh, options for hosting different web uh, multiple websites. So this one, you can host three websites. This one is unlimited. This one is also unlimited. So if you buy any of these, you can host more than one website. And how exactly do you do that? So first of all, when you come to your Namecheap admin dashboard, you can see, um, you come to, just scroll down to domain list. And then you normally will have one primary domain. Now, um, I also want to show you something. You come to the hosting too, come to the hosting. So under the hosting, you see your hosting package or whichever you have. Now, if you want to host multiple websites, this is what you have to do. So first of all, you come to the hosting as I just showed you, then go to cPanel. So um, you click on cPanel. So it brings you to your cPanel. So under the cPanel, you scroll down, scroll down, and you will see domains. Okay, you see domains. Now let me show you something here. If you check at the top here, you will see primary domain. There will be one there. Then when you scroll down, normally, um, you see add-on domains. So under add-on domains, you will see um so for here they say zero to infinity the reason why they say zero to infinity is that it is unlimited so i can host as many other websites as much as possible that's why it's zero to infinity now in the past here you will see add-on domains here but add-on domains has now they have not been classified they are now under domain now the other website we want to host it here so what you have to do is to come here so click on domain now before i continue i want to show you something i forgot so go back to your domain and under your primary domain please make sure you don't forget this because if you make this mistake it will not work for you come to um manage under manage so this is the primary domain come down to name service so under name service you will see name chip basic by default most of you will have namecheap basic dns so you have to change it to what namecheap web hosting dns so when you click on this you will see a blue check here then you click on it to make sure that it saves if you don't click on the blue check so if you click on namecheap web hosting dns and you don't click on the check mark it will not mark it it will not save it please do that because i am demonstrating for you if if i go if i switch to the name tip web hosting it will affect my site so i'm just showing you go do that make sure you change this to name tip web hosting dns okay then you come back to the domain so you click on domains now you will see create new domain so the second website that you want to host okay you should have i mean you should have bought that domain already so now come and click on what create new domain and then you put a domain here then here don't make sure that you um you don't check this one because if you check this one they will share your document root with the the main or the primary domain so don't click on it so you put your domain there then you click on what submit so after you click on submit it will create a new domain for you now, after the new in, uh, new domain is created, it will take you to another interface, which will look like this. Then you will now see the main domain and the other primary domain, which will be down here. I don't want to create an, a new domain. That's why I've, I just didn't put in a domain name there. Now, um, you now, the second domain you want to host, then you will now click on it. Because I don't have this, I actually didn't create one. I will just click on the main one. But you will see the second one and you click on it. So when you click on it, it will open you um, to an interface like this. Um, be, it, because I have already installed my website, it is just taking me to my website. But um, I want to show you, you can just come here. Um, let me go back. 
one step. It will take you to this place. When you come back, you will see um, WordPress. So you click on WordPress. Yeah. So it will bring you can you come here, come to WordPress. So when you come to WordPress, you will now be asked to install WordPress. Then when you come, I already have a current installation, so I don't need to install, but I'm just showing you how to install WordPress. So when you click on install, it will ask you. So now it will show you if I had registered a new domain, it, the new domain will show here as the second one. So you select it. Then um, you will come and select the version of WordPress you want to install. Then you come and put your site name here, the description of your site. So the site name will be more, more or less like the website name then. So if you come here, the site name will be something like here. And then you see a description that will be on there. And that the description uh, that is normally at the main interface, you will now put that description. Then you come here and put the username of the admin, the WordPress admin dashboard. Then you put the, uh, the password and then the admin email. After you do yeah. all that, you just click on what? When you are okay with everything and the language, you click on install and it will install it. Now, after it is done installing, you, you can now proceed to build your website. I have done a full tutorial on how to build your website on WordPress. You can check in the description of this video and you have a link to that video so that you can watch and continue to build a very professional website on WordPress. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell and like this video. Um, you can follow the WhatsApp or Telegram link in the description to contact me if you need any help relating to building your website, digital marketing, Facebook, Instagram, and Google ad. That is what I do. And I will help you to um, run effective ad campaigns and get value for money. Thank you once again and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.